Bon day. Can I request the three refuges and the eight virtues, please? Sadhu, sadhu. Yes. Let's begin with the Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa. Homage to the blessed teacher, the Arahant, the perfectly all awakened Buddha. Buddhang Saranang Gachami, Dhammang Saranang Gachami, Sanghang Saranang Gachami. I go to the Buddha as a refuge. I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Duti Ampi Buddhang Saranang Gachami. Duti Ampi Dhammang Saranang Gachami. Duti Ampi Sanghang Saranang Gachami. For a second time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Tatiyampi Buddhang Saranang Gachami. Tatiyampi Dhammang Saranang Gachami. Tatiyampi Sanghang Saranang Gachami. For a third time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Dhamma, the teaching, as a refuge. And for a third time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. The whole community of people who practice this. And now the virtues. Panati pata we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from hurting living beings on purpose. Adina dhana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from taking what is not given. Kame sumi chachara we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misconduct. Musa wada we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech. Sura Meraya Madja Pamadatana Vairamani Sikapadang Samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from mind altering substances. These were the five virtues, and now the eight. Vikala Bojana Vairamani Sikapadang Samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from eating at improper times. Nacha gita vadita visuka dasana malagandha vilepana dharana mandana vibhusana tana vairamani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from dancing, singing, listening to music, seeing entertainment shows, wearing necklaces, perfumes, and beautifying the body with cosmetics. Ucha sayana maha sayana vairamani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from high and luxurious beds and seats. Silena sugating yanti, silena bhoga sampada, silena ni buting yanti, tazama sila visodaye. By virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, success comes to be. 
By virtue one is unbinded. This virtue is to be perfected. Sad, sad, sad. And today I will recite um, again the verses of the Dhammapada. Mano pu bhangam madhamma, mano sattha mano maya, manasaja parutena, bhasatiwa karutiwa, tatonang dukkang anvayati, chakkang wa vahato padang. Mind precedes all things, all are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with an unwholesome mind, a person speaks or acts, trouble is bound to follow along, as the wheel is dragged by the foot. Mano pubhangam madhamma, mano sattha mano maya, manasa cha pasanena, bhasati wa karoti wa, tato nang sukang anweti, chaya wa anapayini. Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with a wholesome mind a person speaks or acts, then happiness is bound to follow along, like one's own shadow. Nahi varana varani samanti da kurachanang avarana cha samanti sanantano. Never is anger appeased by anger. Only by non-anger is it appeased. This is an eternal law. Idha modati pecha modati kata punyo ubayatha modati so modati so pa modati. This wa kamma visuding atano. In this world and the next, one rejoices. The doer of good rejoices in both worlds. One rejoices, one delights, seeing the brightness of one's own good deeds again and again. Punyante puriso kaira. Kayiri teta punam punam Tamhi chandang kayirata Sukko panyasa uchayo Should a person do good deeds, let one do it over and over again. Let one be wholly devoted to it, for blissful is the accumulation of goodness. Ma pa mangye ta punyasa na mang tang agami sati uda bindu ni patena uda kumbo pi purati diro purati punyasa toka toka pi achinang do not be little goodness thinking it will never come to me with each drop of water, the jar gets filled. The wise gets filled with wisdom, gathering it little by little. So apadutasa narasadusati, suddasa posasa nanganasa, tange wang balang pacheti papang. Sukumo rajo patiwa tangwa kito. Whosoever should revile a blameless person, a bright sage of spotless virtue, that misguided person's wickedness turns back on him, like fine dust thrown against the wind. Sabba papasa karanang kusalasa upasampada sa chitta pariyodapanang etang buddhana sasanang. 
abandoning what is unwholesome and cultivating what is wholesome, elevating one's mind. This is the Buddha's teaching. Kanti paramang tapotitika Nibbanang paramang vadanti buddha Nahi pambajito parupagati Samano hoti parang vihetayanto Patience and acceptance are the highest sacrifice. Nibbana is, the, is highest, say the Buddhas. One is no spiritual person who strikes another. One is no monk who oppresses others. Anupavado anupagato patimokke cha sangvaro matanyuta cha bhatasamin patancha sayanasanang adhichitte cha ayogo ittang buddhanasasanang not looking to blame, not looking to hurt, self-mastered by the guidelines of the Patimokkha, knowing the right amount of food, living alone, and being devoted to the higher mind. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. Susukhang vata jivama yesang no natikinchanam Piti bhakang bhavisama deva basarayatta. Surely we are living in bliss. We who have nothing, feeders on joy, we shall be like the devas of streaming radiance. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And today, we have a couple of short suttas. This one is called Sukha Somanasa. And I translate this as blissful ease of mind, where the Buddha is showing us six aspects, six things in which we should seek our happiness into. And this will be for our own good for a long time. Monks possessing six qualities. A monk abounds in blissful ease of mind here and now. Anybody, not just monks. And is thoroughly undertaking the way to still the mental distractions. What six? Here one delights in the Dhamma, one delights in mental development, one delights in abandoning what is unwholesome, letting go, one delights in solitude, meditation, one delights in non-hatred, loving-kindness, and one delights in non-proliferation, calming the thoughts. Possessing these six qualities, one abounds in blissful ease of mind, here and now. And one is thoroughly undertaking the way to still the mental distractions. And our last sutta this morning is Chaitana Kananiya, making a wish. And this wonderfully explains the purpose of virtue and how it uplifts the mind. And it is for the sake of our own liberation. This is from the n Numbered Discourses, the Book of Elevens. Being virtuous monks, endowed with virtue, no need to wish, may I be free from remorse. It is the Dhamma that, by being virtuous, by being endowed with virtue, 
one is free from remorse. Free from remorse, monks, no need to wish, may gladness arise in me. It is the Dhamma that, being free from remorse, gladness arises in someone. Being glad, monks, no need to wish, may joy arises in me. It is the Dhamma that, by being glad, joy arises in one. Joyful in mind, monks, no need to wish, may my body be relaxed. <clears throat> it is the Dhamma that, by being joyful in mind, one's body gets to be relaxed. Relaxed in body, monks, no need to wish, may I experience happiness. It is the Dhamma that, by being calm in body, one experiences happiness. Happy, monks, no need to wish, may my mind be collected and harmonious. It is the Dhamma that, by being happy, one's mind is collected and harmonious. Collected and harmonious in mind, monks, no need to wish. May I know and see clearly. For it is the Dhamma that by collected mental harmony, one knows and sees things clearly. Knowing and seeing things clearly, no need to wish. May I let go completely. It is the Dhamma that by knowing and seeing things clearly, one lets go completely. <clears throat> Disengaging completely or letting go completely, monks. No need to wish. May I be free from tension. It is the Dhamma that, by disengaging and letting go completely, one is free of tension. Free from tension, monks, no need to wish. May I experience knowledge and vision of liberation. It is the Dhamma that, by being tensionless, one experiences knowledge and vision of liberation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. I wish you a very good morning, good meditation, until I see you on interviews or later during the meditation. <clears throat>